Hello and welcome to this uh, Busch and Muller Ixon Core uh, bike front light. Um, this workshop is meant to show you how to dismantle, uh, dismount your bike light. I see two reasons why you might need that. One would be to change the battery or two, actually fix it after it has fallen um, and um, it doesn't turn on anymore. I myself um, got an incident where the light felt. I've returned it to uh, Busch and Muller and they returned it saying that it could not be fixed um, even at a price. I then started to dismantle it and found out very interestingly that it's extremely easy um, and not time consuming to, um, to actually fix it. So if you want to spare a few euros, a few bucks, um, well, then you can follow this uh, workshop. Um, so you just need a few tools for this. Um, you need a Torx um, screwdriver um, and the size of the Torx should be, I believe, T7, if I'm not mistaken. Let's look it here. It's actually a T8. Um, and then you will need pliers, um, uh, possibly um, some tape, and a pair of scissors, simply. If it has fallen, you will probably need uh, a soldering iron, which is uh, the best way to, to fix it. The trick I'm gonna show you might here might not work over the long term. So here we go. So just dismantle it. Don't try to do anything at the back. You just go through the front and you just use a Torx and you nicely, smoothly remove the screws. Just make sure that the little plastic part that you see here doesn't fall. So you have two long screws at the top and a short one at the bottom that you can see here. Then you just um, pull the plastic, which would come out pretty easily. That was very easy. So now we can see here the uh, front part behind which the LED light is, is located. Um, I've used a flat could be a screwdriver or something, just to pop out the mirror. Um, that should be pretty easy, should be. I just scratched it, well done. So you gotta be more careful than I am. There it is. Keep it well on the side, avoid to scratch it because obviously it will reduce the performance. Then using the pliers, you can see here that you have a chassis, I'm trying to put the light as you know, conveniently as possible. You can see there's a chassis out there um, in which the uh, uh, circuit board and the battery is being um, uh, put inside. So the plier trick is actually to grab the circuit board and I will do it from the other side here Right, not sure we can really easy see, but I grab the circuit on both sides and then I just pull gently the circuit board out of the chassis. And you can see here your actual light. This thing is now empty, just as a, a metal case inside which contains the actual headlight. This is your headlight with the mini USB connector at the back, the uh, actual switch on, switch off, the switch on the top here. The LED light is located just here and you have a system, um, I guess, to uh, send the light on the mirror. Now, you can already see here 
how this battery has been soldered and it's pretty bad work I believe um, um, from what I've seen in other uh, front lights uh, this is not very well soldered into the battery when it falls it could fail actually here or at the back you can see here that it's actually already fixed in some way well that was my own little trick but this is how I found it after a fall. The back had completely failed and uh, that's not so surprising. Again, the soldering must be much better than this. Um, disappointing, um, I have to say. So um, ideally, obviously, you might want to use a soldering iron um, to put it back there and ensure that it won't move and then most possibly uh, reinforce it. So that's one option. Another option that I see would be to use a little, uh, with a soldering iron, to use a small short cable and actually to ensure that both sides, the circuit board and the battery are well connected with a very uh, short cable. So you ensure that if they disconnect those two parts, the battery and the, the connecting connector at the back, disconnect you ensure that the cable will will um, maintain um, the uh, the contact now what I've done myself uh, as a temporary measure um, is and I put some aluminium here at the back that's one and then secondly I've uh, used some tape um, to actually uh, keep the contact at the back, uh, well, uh, uh, well, firmly um, st uh, sticked to the, uh, to the to the battery itself. So I'm gonna do this, and I'll start the video again. So um, here I am. Um, I've uh, finished the uh, sticking of the um, tape. Um, as as you can see, um, I've now ensured that the battery is firmly um, scotched with with this tape. Uh, to to the circuit board contactors at the back, uh, so this is the front actually, and at the bag, the back. So um, if I switch on, just push the button here, you can see that it turns on. Short connect, short push will just bring the other mode. This is working fine. I'm gonna turn it off. And then now I can put it backwards into its gazing. And I'm gonna slowly slide it back into its gazing. That should be it. So now that it's uh, properly Put back into its cage, um, pop in again the reflector on the right side please, avoid touching the inside like I just did. That's it, it's just a simple click. Put back the protection glass and just Screw back. You have your light. Back to work in its case. Oh, and finally, um, I will demonstrate that actually. So the light is, is repaired by uh, switching it back on. And there you go. Um, you can see that's the blue light. That's a strong light. There you go. So hope it's useful and um, have a safe ride. Bye.